one and the right one. So what I have to do now is uh, wax these, lay them up with the PVA and lay up some new parts so that I get the uh, basis for these. And then I have to then build, start building them up with uh, foam to get the shape I want so that the wheel will fit inside. So that's uh, what we gotta do next. I just want it so it's elevated so the cloth can hang over the edges because I'm gonna cut the edge when it's in its green state. So that uh, the cloth will just lay over it. So we're just going to throw a bit of glue on there and lay this, oops, lay this on. And that's all I need right now. I have to just cut that in because it's a little bit sticking out. And then uh, we'll put PVA on and lay up the parts. All right, now it's time for the PVA. I've uh, blown it all off. And uh, so what I'm going to do is put the PVA around these edges so that the uh, epoxy doesn't stick. I have waxed the edges. So you might be thinking, why is he going to all that trouble to uh, redo the gear doors? And I'll tell you why, because when I did these, I don't know what went wrong, but they don't fit very good. Uh, as you can see the line here, I think you can see it possibly in the movie, but you see how it's not fitting? It's just not correct. And I've never been happy with it. Uh, so, plus uh, this wheel is catching slightly on the, on the gear door. So that's why I'm going to all this effort. I just want it to fit for once. Uh, I'm using the piano hinges, the little micro ones, and I want to get these to fit nice. So there's no gaps because what happens is, you know, the air can get underneath it and then we get a little shaking going on. But anyhow, that's why I'm doing it. <clears throat> so I've just mixed a small amount of epoxy. This is a 30 cc's. Don't need a whole lot for these molds. And what I'm doing this time is uh, I'm not bothering with the uh, three quarter ounce cloth. I'm just gonna go directly with one layer of uh, the uh, two ounce just liberally coat the mold it's a little chilly in the shop so uh, the epoxy is not going to flow as good as it should but that's okay and now the reason i'm uh, not going with the fancy cloths or anything is because remember i'm making the molds for the uh landing gear if you will i mean the gear doors for the uh, plugs and uh, they'll end up by the time I've built them up with foam and all the rest of it they'll end up uh, being totally covered with primer and filler and everything so they'll be all smoothed out manually So I've got the first layer on, <clears throat> now I'm just going to do the uh, second. So this whole uh, mould will just have um, 
a two ounce layer and two six ounce layers. What you want to do is also make sure that you extend the resin beyond the uh, the mold if you like so that you can trim it much easier than if it was dry. So I'm just making sure it goes over. All right, I now have the uh, new landing gear doors done. They fit beautifully exactly where I need them so now it's time to build up the uh, wheel well so that we can uh, hide the wheel <laughs> 